What's up guys, this is James from Geekblog TV. Yesterday we covered the apt-get package manager system. Today we're going to be doing the yum package manager system, which you're going to find on most Fedora systems. So, without much further ado, let's get started. I'm going to jump to the screencast, show you a few tips and tricks. Hopefully you'll know it a little bit better once we're done. Alright, so here we are on the desktop. We've got a terminal open, and as you can remember, to install something with apt-get, it is apt-get, <clears throat> apt-get install whatever. So here in yum, it's pretty similar. We're just going to do yum install whatever, and of course there's not a whatever package, so I'm not going to press enter. But um, let's start with something a little bit more basic. Um, I'm sure you remember before to refresh your repositories you would do apt get update and then it would refresh your list and then whenever you were done with that you would type apt get upgrade. Well in yum it is a little bit more simplified. We just do yum update. As you can see I have quite a few packages to update. We can scroll up and down the list here. Uh, if you want to see all the ones exactly. Now this is just a couple of days of not updating here. Um, 106 megabytes is a little bit of a task for me to be um, downloading right now for this demonstration, so I'm just going to hit no. But what if we want to update one of those selectively? I could do yum update qt. So with yum update qt, I can update just the qt package, and as you can see, the qt package pulls in its dependencies also, so that those dependencies get upgraded as well. Um, if you already have partially, um, partially downloaded files for this package, let's say only three lines of code changed in qtx11, what's going to happen is whenever I hit enter on this, delta is going to basically calculate what lines have changed on the files and just download those. So this 26 megabyte file might only end up being about a 3 megabyte download. Not bad, but what if we want to install a whole group of things, like let's say we want all the books and guides to Fedora, or let's say we want all the development tools. Well that's pretty easy. This is one thing that it has on top of apt-get that apt-get doesn't really do so well. There's this thing called yum group install, and you can install certain groups of things. Well, what do you do if you don't know what groups there are? Well, we do yum group list. Now this is going to spit out quite a bit of output here, so we're going to scroll around a little bit. You can see the first group are the installed groups that I have. Um, I've got the design suite, I've got Haskell because of Xmonad, I've got KDE software development, um, but some things that we don't have are books and guides, clustering, LXDE, um, there's a lot of things on there that you can just install as a group. So let's see what are some things that will come along with the group. Let's try group install books and guides. Alright, 9.5 megabytes, that's not that bad. So we're going to get dive into Python, Java notes, LDD PDF, and dive into, and dive into Python PDF. Well, I'm really interested in this Dive Into Python book, so I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And this is a pretty small file, so just keep your eyes on what the screen does as it's installing this, and you'll start to make sense of why I prefer yum over apt-get. Alright, as you can see, that install went pretty smoothly. Another thing that we can do is we can also search for packages. As you remember before, we did apt cache search and then the package name. Well, this time it's going to be a little bit shorter. We just do yum search and then package. And in this case, we are going to use one of my favorite terminal music players, Seamus. Alright, great. So you can see it pulled up all of the results that it has for Seamus. This includes quite a bit of the libraries for it. We can select one of these packages and learn a little bit more about it with the yum info command. Yum info paste. 
All right, here we are. We have a little bit more info about the package. We've got some licensing information here, the URL, um, the version, and uh, basically everything that we need to know about the package. If you have any questions about any dependencies or anything like that, then you can definitely check out the information. Well, we did the group list before. Well, now let's just play and see if we can and we can list everything that's in yum that we've installed. So we're going to do yum list installed and then because it's going to be a lot of output, a lot of output, I'm going to be piping it through less. All right. And it has pulled up all of the packages that we have installed here. Now that's quite a bit of packages. I'm not going to sort through them all, so I'm just going to hit Q. You can also do yum list and not have the installed part, and this will pull up all of the available packages for yum. Um, this could possibly crash my screen recorder, so I'm not going to be doing this one right now. But you get a good idea of what it's going to um, what it's going to do. So. What if we need to update something and let's say it's part of a group and we want to update the whole group. Well, you can also do yum group update. And before we did, I believe it was books and guides. So let's try that one. It shouldn't need an update, but it's still good to know. All right, not bad. There's no updates needed. So one last command that I wanted to show you guys was yum repo list. This way you can see all of the repos that you have available to you. This is pretty handy whenever you're on somebody else's system and you just need to get acquainted pretty quickly. So here's my list of repos and you can see which ones are enabled and which ones are disabled. To enable a repo, you just do yum dash dash enable oops, enable repo and then type in the name of the repo or copy and paste. So thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you coming to see me. If you like this video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up below. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. So thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.